this episode, what I'm going to do is mock up the body kit. Which I mean by just putting self tappers on it. I'm going to show you. I've already done the, I've already done the driver's side. As you can see, I've got it tapped in a few places here and here. One here. That one here for right now. I've had to cut, I had to cut a good chunk out of this because with the trunk closing, it overlapped. Now, this body kit's not the greatest. Okay, so right now guys, I had to take the side skirt off, or not the side skirt, this over fender off. And all I do is, I've got it riveted on, so. I gotta do that for the rest of them. And then I'll show you when I get back. And there we go, all I gotta do is set some zip ties that I put down here. One there. One there. And then I'll show you guys what my car looks like. So, without my over fenders, that's what it looks like guys. It's a go-kart on crack. Alright guys, that's just sitting on there. So what I've got to do is this line right here, I've got to cut that all the way up to right there. Because right now, it's not flush. So I've got to cut that out. I'm going to drill it. Shift it over a little bit to make sure it fits properly. And set you guys up somewhere. Maybe you guys can watch a little bit of it. I'm trying to do something different, not so much yip yapping and more action for you guys. But I think she's gonna look good after. And what I've got to do is mold those side skirts into my other ones, which are right there. I've got to mold those into them ones, just because I don't have the front fenders for this kit, and they're like nine hundred dollars just for the front fenders, so. So right now guys, I gotta run in a cleaning tire or Lowe's or whatever. I need to get some stuff for a Dremel tool because the body kit that I've got, it's got extra pieces. And you gotta trim off pieces to make it fit. Now I'm, I've got Corinne over here driving so I, I can sit here and talk or turn the camera around and show you driving, so. So instead of going to crap Canadian tire, we're gonna hit up Walmart because Corinne's gotta get some pills and I'm gonna see if they have the Dremel tool stuff that I need. Well, Walmart was a bust. They didn't have anything for Dremel tools. So we're gonna head over to Lowe's now. Yes, I'm at Lowe's now, guys. Let's see if they have what I need. I'm on the hunt for the Dremel tool stuff now. I don't know where it is. Made in the USA. You're in the wrong part of the world, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. Well, that was a freaking bust. They didn't have it. I guess I'm gonna have to use my grinder with a cutoff disc. That should be a lot better. Just so I'm gonna have to be very, very careful at what I'm doing. So, Walmart was pretty much a bust, so what I gotta do is this little tab, I gotta cut it like I showed you before. So, I'm gonna mark it. And then I'm gonna get the grinder out. So guys, I've got it mounted up. Now I'm gonna attach a back bumper and show you guys what it's gonna look like. Hopefully, it will pull itself out. Oh, 
but it should pull itself should pull itself out when I push this in. So, so I got the kit on. That's gonna look good. It's not bad for uh, I had to cut a good chunk. I actually show you. I had to cut that much off of the fender in order for it to be decent there. I still got to trim it down there because it's still tight. And over here, it's still tight over here, but I think I might just leave it so it's smooth. I can't get this side screwed on because the door and the wall are too close. But I gotta button that up. I'm thinking I might do the white. Keep it white. White's sick looking. I gotta press out or stretch out the little spot right there on the kit. But yeah, it's not bad for what I'm doing.